is an essential skill set for helping your customers select the correct product for their application. And for those who need excess condensation removed from HVAC equipment, the VCMA may be the answer. But really, what is this product? I'm Jeremiah Brody, and today I'll unpack the components of the Little Giant VCMA Condensate Pump. A half gallon ABS tank, as well as a motor cover and fluid, a stainless steel motor shaft, and a separate overflow switch. All these components contribute to the overall usefulness of the original condensate pump. Today, we'll discuss pump components and options that are useful in installation, operation, and maintenance techniques, with the goal of setting you up to perform quicker procedures. Here are the components you need to know to install your pump. The VCMA is commonly installed in residential and light commercial applications and is designed for quality and reliability. The pump has three inlet openings, making it possible for the pump to accept three drain lines. Openings not in use should be closed using the supplied cap plugs. To comply with national building codes, inlet openings are designed for three quarter inch PVC pipe. The pump can be installed on a flat level surface or mounted on a wall with the mounting tabs on each end of the tank. Here's the discharge check valve adapter. Install 3 8 inch inside diameter vinyl tubing to this adapter. Here's the pump nameplate voltage. Connect the power cord to a constant source of power matching this voltage. These are the components you need to know related to the pump operation. Operation for the VCMA is simple and reliable. The VCMA contains an electric motor. To keep the motor cool and increase pump life, the product has an oversized bearing and large cooling fan. The oversized bearing helps the motor operate smoother by dissipating heat. The large cooling fan also circulates air inside. Both of these components cool the electric motor. In addition, the motor is attached to a galvanized plate. This spreads out the motor attachment. When the motor turns on, there is a larger surface area to hold it in place. This also serves as a heat shield, preventing the plastic from overheating. Screen top inlets or air vents prevent debris from getting in the motor housing. Here's the tank cover assembly, which snaps onto the reservoir. To remove, pull it on the slot on the large side of the top. Place a finger in one of the large corner holes and carefully lift off the cover. Here's the pump operating float switch. The motor should turn on before the float contacts the underneath side of the tank cover. The high level switch or safety overflow switch is factory wired to stop air conditioning equipment. This switch can also be used to activate a warning light or audible alarm sound while leaving the cooling equipment running. Here are pump components you need to know to perform periodic service on your pump. Perform routine maintenance on your Little Giant VCMA condensate pump by disconnecting the pump from the power source and removing the tank cover assembly from the tank. Here's a check valve, followed by the volute. To clean, remove the check valve and backwash the discharge portion of the volute over the sink. The tank can be cleaned with warm water and mild soap, followed by flushing the tank with fresh water. If necessary, the check valve can also be cleaned with warm water and mild soap. Check the inlet and outlet piping, also cleaning as necessary. Let's review. Today we talked about insulation components, including the inlet opening, discharge check valve, and nameplate voltage. We also talked about operation components, including the pump switch float and high level switch. Last, we reviewed removing the tank cover, check valve, volute, and other maintenance related components. To learn more, visit Franklin Tech Online and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Your feedback will help us continue bringing great content. Thanks for watching.